Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my top 12 holy grail, I can't live without products. I have used all these products and still use all these products every single day and I can definitely say I cannot live without any of them. They are absolutely amazing and I'm gonna just go straight into the video. All these products are like just a mixture, mostly a high end, but there is a little bit of drugstore in there and majority of them I've had for either years or I have just repurchased over and over just because I've loved it that much. So we're just gonna jump right in. I really hope that you enjoy this video and let's just get started. So the first product that I'm gonna be talking about is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And let me tell you, I love this stuff. This is amazing. This is my third bottle of this. Like amazing with getting rid of that like powder cakey look that sometimes foundations or powders can cause in your face. And you can also use it in between the day. You can use it after your makeup. But I'm telling you, the way the finish is after you apply this is amazing. It looks like skin. Like it just makes your whole face just looks so blended and so smooth. Um, it retails for about $16. This is something, a permanent staple in my makeup routine, and I'm still gonna continue to use this product. Okay, so next product I'm gonna be talking about is eyebrows, and I'm gonna be talking about two different products because it was hard for me to pick one of these. My holy grail was, and still is, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I love this, I've used this for years, I'm wearing it now, and I really, really love, you know, this pencil, and this retails for about $21, but once this product came out, it was like probably closer to my holy grail than the Anastasia, and I used this like literally every single day, and it's the Cabral line from Benefit, and like look at the packaging, I love it. I'm like obsessed with these two products. Um, I think they both retail for between like 21 to 25 bucks. This is a gel, and this is a pencil. And I use them both together whenever I use these products. So this is the pencil side, and I think comparing it to the Anastasia pencil side, I prefer the Cabral, and this is the Precisely My Brow pencil. I think that the pencil part for the Cabral is a lot thinner than the pencil part for the Anastasia. I feel like I'm able to create a neater line with the Cabral pencil than with my Anastasia. The packaging of this, it comes with a little brush, but I never use this brush. I always use my like MAC 266 brush for my eyebrows, always, I love that stuff. And, or I love that brush, I should say. On the inside, there's the gel part. I'm number four in both the gel and the eyebrow pencil. And I think that both products are absolutely amazing. I'm still gonna continue to use both of them in my makeup journey. And I highly, highly, highly recommend both products. So the next product we're gonna talk about is foundation. This was my hardest thing to choose because I have a lot of holy grail foundations, but if I was stranded on an island tomorrow with only one choice of foundation, it is hands down my Lancome Tint Idol 24 hour foundations. This was my first high end foundation product that I ever bought and it's been totally worth it. This is so worth the price. The only issue, the con, is that it's, it is expensive for a foundation. They're like $47 each. When I bought it, they were cheaper because I bought these a few years ago. I think they were like $44, don't quote me, but now it's $47 because I just looked at it before. And I have them in two different colors. You really only need one, but I ended up buying it in two because one is lighter and one's a little darker because when I bought the darker one, I bought it in the summer and then I was putting it on my face in the winter and I get lighter in the winter, so I ended up just going to buy a different one. I'm in the color, for the lighter color, I'm the number 500 suede. W, which is warm, and then for the darker color, it's 530 suede cool. It does have SPF in it, so it's perfect for the summer. I used to use this all the time when I was going out. My other holy grail is my uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD and the Anastasia Stick Foundation. Um, but if I, like I said, if I was stranded tomorrow on an island, I only had to pick one foundation, it is 100% the Lancome. Totally worth it. The next product is um, my color correcting and concealer choice. Um, this is also a really hard selection because I love color correcting and I think I'm going to make a video random. I'm going to make a video about color correcting. Anyway, but back to topic. I have chosen, and you can tell I've used this a lot because you can't even see it anymore. It's the MAC. Um, 
correct it's supposed to say mac correct and conceal duo thing <laughs> but i bought this like a long time ago you can tell that it's like used and wearing out like there's not that much product anymore i think it's time for me to buy a new one but i have it in the color pure orange because when i color correct i usually will color correct with an orange color i literally use this every day when i don't want to put a lot of makeup on and i just like i dab both sides on my face like the orange and the yellow and then i just blend them out together either with my fingers with a brush whatever is more comfortable beauty blender so yeah so it's the orange side and then this is the yellow and the way they correct when you combine those colors together I feel is the best way and the easiest way for me to color correct especially when I'm going to work in the morning I only have like five minutes to do my makeup so this is runs for about $26 um, for color correcting I 100% recommend for concealer that's a whole other topic my concealer choice would be my NARS creamy radiance or the Mac pro long wear concealer but for color correcting if you're on the go this is a great product so next we're getting into eyeliner and if you watched my videos before, you probably have seen me use this eyeliner literally in every eye makeup video product because this is my 100% favorite eyeliner ever. And it's so worn out too that you can tell I've used it too much. It's my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. Oh, amazing. I love this eyeliner. So this is my favorite because the tip of it is so thin that it's so easy for me to create my cat eye, especially in the morning, especially when I'm in a rush. It's so easy. And the application is smooth. I believe this runs for about $20, but I'm going to double check. Yep, this runs for about $20. I bought this a while ago. This is still going to be like my ultimate favorite. I have to buy another one because I can tell that the product is like running out because I use it almost every day. And I use this on other people too because I feel like the application is amazing. I have it in Trooper and I also have it in the brown color when I don't really feel like doing anything dramatic. It's just like a nice dark brown. But I highly, highly, highly recommend this eyeliner. So next, and I think this might be my only drugstore product in this video. So I might do a video about my top 12 drugstore. <laughs> but this mascara is definitely in my like to go if we're running away to like seashells or like Fiji and I can only wear one mascara it is the Maybelline it's the Maybelline last sensational luscious full fan effect I love this mascara this is like only seven or eight dollars you can buy it at Target and I just like the way it makes my eyelashes look like I feel like it really does create like a nice like fan effect like right now I'm wearing false lashes so you can't really tell but I usually use it for my lashes when I'm going to work in the morning if I just want to put mascara on or I put it underneath my eyes I like this better than the other one because there is another last sensational that's in a pink packaging I think that this is darker and I think that this brush is better than the other last sensational well that's just me personally I really 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 love this mascara and I this is my like fourth one I think because I've been using this for a really long time <laughs> and it's totally worth it I love it so the next product I'm going to be talking about this is my holy grail eyeshadow palette and this was a hard choice too I was torn between two of them but I went with the one that I literally use like every single day that I've gotten my friends to buy because it's that amazing it is the Tartlet in Bloom palette and this is just the perfect nude palette Literally to wear like every single day. I wear this palette every single day Especially like in a, if I'm in a rush I just take some of these neutrals or like some of the glitters just pat it on my eye and I'm out I love it because I really like the darker colors too, especially if we really want to go for like a dark look Like this is like suit and they're so pigmented like look at that. We have that we have the gold color, like it's super, super pigmented. I like, I love it. Um, this is again a little pricey. It does run in the like 40s, I think it's like $45, but it's totally worth it comparing it to like other palettes. My top two runner up would be my Lorac Pro palette because I love that one just as much. Okay, Next product, I. These are like my 100% like favorite brushes and I feel like if you again watch my videos in the past I literally have a video all about these brushes which I'm going to link down below and they are my Artiste brushes. 
These are my top three that I use every day also. I love these. These are amazing. And I know that they're dupes. I made a video about the dupes. And I still use the dupes. But I always reach for these brushes. Because like these are my babies. I love these things. Sorry about my phone. I keep hearing it ringing in the background. <laughs> so I'm using it for my list. So next product that I'm going to be talking about again is a translucent... Ugh translucent powder and people that know me know I always rave about this powder because I think that it's also like really amazing when I first bought it I had bought the trial size and then I loved I used all the trial size and I went to go buy the full size because I loved it that much it's the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is like absolutely amazing when I do makeup on other people I use this I use this on myself I use it today I use it when I do any type of concealer underneath my eye even if I'm wearing powder foundation I'll just put a little bit of it just to keep everything in place because this makes your makeup not budge one bit I'm not even kidding but for this it does the puff is separate the puff is like $12 this is like 35 or 38 dollars I think um, and it's just one color. It's just translucent. I think that she does make it in different colors But I just bought the regular like translucent because that's just what I use and you know, it's translucent So there's no Powder color holy grail that is literally one of my favorites I've used this for years also and I need to buy another one because I'm pretty much like hitting the pot It's my studio fix plus powder foundation the powder foundation not the liquid the liquid for me breaks me out a lot of mac liquid foundations for some reason and i never like break out badly but i was getting pimples like literally everywhere i was like that's not i'm not using these so i wanted to go back and i bought this i have it in the color nw45 this is my everyday. This is what I use every single day if I just want to be quick and like put a little bit of makeup on. I use my puffs for that. So I usually will use like a little one and just like pat it really quick. If not, I use my e.l.f. brush and I just like dip it in, just put it on my face. I do use it over foundations, but I try not to because when you put powder foundation over liquid foundation, it makes your face look really cakey at the end of the night for me personally even if you put like the most smoothing primer for me it makes my face look really cakey so I don't do that anymore and I use this for work I use it when I want to go out really quick like if I'm going to target or something I usually don't wear any makeup but let's say I'm going to like brunch or something with my friends and I don't really want to put a lot of makeup on I usually just put this right on and I think that it's amazing so um second to last product that I'm going to be talking about this is probably one of my first products I've used since I started ever wearing makeup Literally, like, I've used this since I started wearing makeup in high school. Like, I really started loving it in 2011, so that was almost, like, five years ago. So I've used it for about five years, and this is probably, like, I don't even know how many of these I bought, but I, I bought a new one recently of it. And it's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I've used this for years. I use it on other people. I tell everybody and their mothers to buy this <laughs> because it really does make your eyeshadow last all day. Eyeshadow and eyeliner. So I use this one and I love it. Love last it, love but it. not least, the final product I'm going to be talking about is lipstick. And with this lipstick product, I had found out about this brand probably about two years ago or so or last year I don't really remember found out about them on Instagram I went on their website a lot of people raved about their lipsticks so I was like okay I'll buy like one or two bought two I ended up buying like almost all their colors because I think that their quality is amazing I'm not wearing it on my lips today but this is the color that I usually wear every day um, it's a nice nude and I might as well just show you it's the colored rain liquid lipstick and this is in the color bachelorette a nice pink and it's not like an overbearing pink, especially for the darker skin tones. I feel like this is a really nice nude lipstick, especially if you pair it with a brown lip liner, which is usually what I do. I do like the MAC um, chestnut, and then I put this over top. And this is $17, so you're a little bit more pricey, but it's worth it. They, like this lipstick lasts you all day. You can eat, you can drink. It's just... A really great product so that's my top 12 thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about in this video please leave your comments below um, I appreciate it so much please like comment and subscribe share with your friends and until the next video I will see you guys again